Hey YouTube, got a quick review for you today. Uh, I picked this little guy up and I really want to share, is the Lenovo Duet worth it still in 2021? Um, this device came out, I believe, in January 2020. I picked this up in August 2021 from Best Buy. I got it in satisfactory condition, which I had never bought anything in that condition before. I went in person. I had the you know the rep open the box up and show me you know, what is this going to look like? What does satisfactory mean? How damaged was it? And it turns out there was nothing wrong with this thing. We both were kind of shocked and we come to find out that the charger was missing and the charging cable was missing. So that status it is satisfactory. We turned it on. We start messing with it. Everything works smooth, fine. The keyboard was just fine. So of course I picked it up, took it home and it's, I really like this thing. Um, I use it for a little small biz and some personal use. You can switch accounts so easily. I mean, you can bounce accounts in about 10 seconds, maybe less. Um, I use it for spreadsheets and different things like that. Then I'll swap accounts and I'll just cruise the web, watch YouTube, watch Twitch, Android, you know, AT&T TV. Just using the Android apps and, and the Chrome OS browser is really great. I've even used Linux on this before. So with the old MacBook only having USB-C ports, we all have these dongles laying around that no one likes. But it turns out this guy with the HDMI, the SD card reader, and USB ports... I was able to plug this in and use this on my monitor with a Bluetooth keyboard and a USB mouse, and it works great. I lay it down. It has no problems. I'm really impressed with this little thing. Um, I'll kind of show you what I got here. So it looks bigger on camera than what it is. This is a 10-inch tablet. Uh, it has a attachable keyboard and case. You just kind of pop it off there. You can see the pins. And the pins won't let you put it backwards, so that's perfect. It's very easy. You only get it right. You pop it on there. The stand is really good. It bends really far back. It's really firm, too. So if you know, you're know you working out, you're cooking, you're doing whatever you're doing, you can put it at any angle, and it does a great job. The screen is perfect. I mean, I like my screens at full brightness, so I'll kind of keep that transparency there. But... You know, it gives me about, I believe, five hours of battery life with it at full brightness all the time. So that's really good to me. Um, what else can I say about this little guy? I also have this second case that I like as well that I really recommend you pick up. If you like to do, you know, business meetings or you travel, just like the Surface Book or any other tablet, these connectable keyboards, this one is firm on the bottom, so I don't have any problems, but it does move on you, right? So you can pop this off. And put everything in this case here and this case will hold the tablet and the keyboard and it detaches and attaches using magnets there is no stand on the back of this case so if you need a stand just use the regular case here but I'll try to lay them side by side so you can see it's perfect it has a lot of flexibility here just velcros in the bottom it was about 20 bucks on Amazon so it's it's great um, what else do we have here? The screen, it's its great for the price. I mean, obviously, it's not a Samsung S7 or anything magical like that, but <clears throat> it does a great job, and it looks really, really good. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. The speakers work great. This is magnetized to the back, so you can see it has a really tight grip, and its it's a really good buy. I really recommend it for you. If you need something lightweight, something portable, and its it's a really good buy. It really is. Um, I've seen it at Best Buy on sale in excellent condition and at, at the new price. The new price is $299, but I've seen it in various conditions uh, for about $220. So, again, if you're looking at tablets and you're torn, like myself, I used to buy Android tablets, and I found that after a year, you weren't getting any updates. You were kind of stuck, and, you know, you didn't have a good tablet that was up to date. Whereas with this, it's Chrome OS. I don't have to deal with any of that stuff. It just handles it. So on the negative side, the only things I've seen is in keyboard mode, it runs fine. When you pop it off in the tablet mode, the OS, so the apps work perfect, but the OS sometimes has a little bit of delay. I just saw a report today that there's a developer conference right now and that Android 12L is something they're working on that's supposed to come out in December. And that's supposed to be for foldable devices and for Android on Chrome OS. And it's supposed to smooth everything out on a larger screen, just make that jitter better. But again, I wouldn't gauge that as something to deter you from it. You could spend easily 500 bucks on a Samsung S7 or some other device 
that comes with the full kit, but that's really going to run you over $500 or probably more. So for the $189 that I paid, it's a steal. For $220, I feel like it's a steal at that price as well. And again, you're not dealing with Android OS. You're using Chrome OS updates. You're going to get updates for years to come. So you can just use the tablet and, and just be happy with it. So that's it. That's all I got. Uh, the Chromebook Duet. Like I said, I think it's a great buy. I definitely think it's worked in the 2021. I'm excited about it. I feel like if I were to upgrade to the newer version, uh, well, this is the this is the new version that's out, I believe, in November 2021. It's a 13-inch screen, though, so I'm a little worried because with this guy, it looks big on camera, but when you grab and go, it's really light. It's about iPad size. It's so convenient and so easy. Um, whereas this one, 13 inches plus cases and the keyboard, that's practically carrying around a smaller laptop. And that kind of worries me a bit. It's going to lose that essence of what it is now. I really wish when I went on their website looking at tablets, I kind of wish Lenovo had just did the Lenovo Tab P11 Pro. I wish they just took this because I'm looking at the pictures. It's the same kit, the same keyboard, the same back. It has the pin included. You know, if they would have just done this and had this come around as one package and probably price it at $299, leave the same price but have Chrome OS on there only, this is the perfect buy. It's it's a really fantastic device. But again, that'll probably be Gen 3. They'll probably go bigger and then come back down to the smaller size because if you guys aren't aware, this little guy is killing the market right now. A lot of folks are picking up the Duet 10.1 because it is a really good buy. Um, again, if you go back to your desk, you just pop it apart, plug in your little dongle on the back, and now you have a desktop PC ready to go. So... Yep, that's it. That's the Lenovo Duet Chromebook tablet. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.